What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing a Manchester City transfer update. We've got plenty to get through so make sure like always if you are enjoying the content do subscribe. Remember, we're going to be doing daily Manchester City transfer updates from June to keep you guys up to date throughout all of the summer transfer window every single day with all the latest Manchester City transfer news. The go-to channel on YouTube for all the latest Manchester City transfer news this summer. So if you haven't already, do subscribe. It is three. On that push now to 30,000 subscribers, less than 900 subs away. So any help towards that would be great. Also, don't forget as well to go and check out my social media links. They're in the description below the slide and across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsors for any videos or any general business inquiries TikTok link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on there do leave a thumbs up 300 likes is the aim and most importantly do let me know your thoughts in the comments below as I'm always interested in what you do have to say with regards to these transfers finally I want to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor which is brought to you by Kitbag you can go and check out the new Manchester City shirt or jersey if you're watching from across the Atlantic 2023 to 2024 kit for Manchester City their home shirt is live and available on Kitbag the link is in the description £70 it is available for go and check it out you can get all your favourite players on the back and everything so do go and check that out links and details they are in the description so let's crack on with this video we're going to start off with the outs and we've got the very latest on James McAtee and he has had a more solid offer at the moment from the Bundesliga than he has from the Premier League when it comes to a potential loan for next season Alan Nixon on Twitter has been reporting that Manchester City are contemplating their options as to where they want to loan him for next season. And the most interesting part of this is it's currently being spoken about a loan and not a permanent transfer. City hold James McAtee in a very high regard at the club and so looking to potentially loan him. I was speaking in my last video saying that potentially we should be looking at the Premier League rather than the Bundesliga, but the Bundesliga showing more interest in McAtee right now and he could well be heading there. Uh, instead of staying in England of course spent last season out on loan at Sheffield United in the Championship helped them get promoted to the Premier League and had an all round very good season winning their Young Player of the Year award now moving on we've got the very latest on another City youngster comes in the form of Kean Brecken now the Mail say that uh, Kean Brecken at Manchester City is a target for Leeds United this summer Newcastle United are also keen on potentially signing the 19 year old central midfielder from Manchester City it hasn't been reported as to whether it would be a permanent transfer or a loan. Considering it is Premier League interest in him, I would presume this would be a permanent transfer rather than a loan. And if that is the case, you would think that City had put some kind of buyback clause or sell-on fee. Maybe both included in the deal, but when I do get the latest, of course, I will report that to you guys. Now, moving on, we've got the very latest on Taylor Harwood Bellis and Newcastle, West Ham United, Fulham. They're all keen, and Burnley have confirmed their interest in signing Taylor Harwood Bellis as well. He's got 12 months left on his contract at Manchester City, and Manchester City's stance, rather than put him on a new deal, are open to selling. That's according to Pete O'Rourke over on Twitter, of course. Um, Taylor Harwood Bellis spent the season out on loan with Burnley last season and helped them get promoted to the Premier League and worked, of course, with City legend Vincent Company. And speaking of Vincent Company, takes us on to James Trafford. He's currently out on loan at Bolton, uh, but uh, James Trafford, the very latest on him. Now, Vincent Company was at Bolton's playoff game, their first leg game against Barnsley in League One. And Peter Rourke says that Vincent Company was at that game because he was watching for himself James Trafford and he wants James Trafford next season on loan, I presume. Now, Peter Rourke says that an offer that's needed to sign him would be £15 million. Manchester City would be tempted to sell should they get an offer of £15 million. I would have thought City, because James Trafford again, just like James McAtee held in high regard at City, that I'd have thought City would have been looking here potentially at loaning and keeping them because uh, Ian Everett was speaking, who's Bolton's manager, at the... Uh, uh, early parts of January saying that James Trafford won't be a Bolton player next season because he firmly believes that he's going to be the new number two at Manchester City and there will come a time where one of Edison or Ortega Moreno probably in the next two years or so 
will leave Manchester City and we'd want a number two to come in that would be able to do very well. And Manchester City, we've been producing some fantastic high quality young goalkeepers. Gavin Bazunu, James Trafford, we're getting linked with Spike Brits as well. So the, the future's very stacked when it comes to, to goalkeepers. So it might make sense for City to sell here and put a cheap buyback clause in there. It might also make sense for City to loan Trafford and potentially assess the situation again next summer, which is what I would do if I was in charge. But I'm not in charge, so we'll see what happens. Now moving on to some more senior first team players for Manchester City. The first, João Cancelo, Florian Plettenberg over in Germany, works for Sky Sport, has said that 70 million euros is too expensive for Bayern Munich this summer and they will not be taking up the option to sign him he will return back to Manchester City Sadio Mane also available for transfer with Bayern Munich now the Daily Telegraph say that Arsenal are interested in signing João Cancelo and my first instinct on this learn our lesson from Alexander Zinchenko and Gabriel Jesus do not sell our players to Arsenal Simple solution. However, what will be very interesting here is if City are looking for 70 million euros and we're not getting anywhere close to that, Bayern Munich were willing to negotiate. I presume City haven't uh, negotiated that fee down. I presume that Man City may have interest for maybe around that price and that might be coming from Arsenal. So if clubs from around Europe are only willing to spend 30, 40, maybe 50 million euros, but Arsenal are prepared to pay 70 million euros, that might just tempt Manchester City to sell because João Cancelo isn't needed by Manchester City and we'd like to use that money to bring in some potential other players and 70 million euros is a heck of a lot of money. So I wonder what City are going to do here. If it's up to me again, I just wouldn't sell to a Premier League rival because the last thing you need is strengthening your opponents with players that they haven't already got and bringing in players from our club in doing so. It nearly came back to bite us with Alexander Zinchenko and Gabriel Jesus. So surely we don't want to continue down that line. Do we? We'll see. Now, moving on, we've also got the very latest on Bernardo Silva. Now, Rob Dawson at ESPN confirms that Manchester City, should they get a suitable offer for Bernardo Silva, the player is open to leaving. Uh, and this is going to be our third consecutive summer of covering Bernardo Silva, potentially wanting to leave Manchester City. Now, um, get French football news, who are referred to as GFFN, say that PSG and Manchester City are willing to negotiate, sit down and talk about a price for Bernardo Silva. PSG won Bernardo Silva potentially to replace Lionel Messi, who leaves uh, for free for them. Now, that was a couple of days ago. Not really heard any development since then. And I'm wondering if Man City surely might be looking for a little bit more money because apparently €70 million Euros is the price we're looking at for Bernardo Silva, who just put in a man-of-the-match performance against Real Madrid and showed, to me, he's one of the best players in the world right now. He's in scintillating form. And to me, City have to be doing everything they can to convince Bernardo Silva to stay, stay because there's, he's irreplaceable. Look, there's no one out there who I could say to you strengthens Manchester City's team should we let Bernardo Silva leave. So we'll see what happens with that. Now we've also got the very latest on Ilkay Gundogan and Rob Dawson also says that Gundogan is going to make a decision on his future at the end of the season. No decision has been made yet and nothing has been communicated to Manchester City about him leaving. So the club do still hold hope that he could sign a new deal. Gundogan is assessing his options. Apparently got some offers from Italy, got an offer from Barcelona as well. So we'll see what Ilkay Gundogan does decide to do. If he's going to leave it that late, because Champions League final on June 10th to make his decision, he's only going to have a, a split of, what, less than three weeks to make his decision before his contract does come to an end. So we'll see, because I imagine City will want to say a farewell to Ilkay Gundogan as well. Not sure what's going to happen. Anyway, moving on to the ends. Got the very latest on Spike Brits, who we were speaking about before in the segment with James Trafford. Now, Spike Brits, the 16-year-old goalkeeper at ASC Wimbledon, holding high regard with England's uh, national setup as well, has had a picture of him leaked at the CFA. He's been pictured with Edison. He's set to sign for Manchester City. The Secret Scout uh, is the Twitter page that's put out uh, that picture. Uh, so, yes, yeah, Spike Brits is going to become a Manchester City player for the uh, CFA, the City Football Academy. Uh, so looking forward to that. I'm just waiting for that deal to be signed, sealed, delivered and of course announced. Now moving on, we've got a new name for the summer but not a new name to the JSGC channel because I spoke about this player a season or two back. 
Jari Simons. Now, uh, scouts attending uh, is a page on Twitter says that Manchester City have had scouts out watching the 20-year-old attacking midfielder who plays for PSV over in the Netherlands. Now, he's played 32 times for in the Eredivisie and scored 16 goals and has nine assists, which is uh, incredible. He's having a brilliant season. 20 years old attacking midfielder. Could well be an option there for Manchester City. Uh, and the OGs, I'm sure, will remember that JSGC was covering this all of last year about Xavi Simons potentially signing for Manchester City from who he played for then was PSG. But he opted instead to try and get some regular first-team football and went to PSV instead. We had a similar situation with Enzo Fernandez. He ended up uh, going to Benfica. That was more out there because of the World Cup, whereas with Xavi Simons it hasn't really been put out there. So definitely a player to watch and uh, maybe even might be able to be picked up for an affordable price. He's an exciting prospect and I'm certainly not against that transfer. In my complete honest opinion, if that is the, the position that City potentially are looking for. Now, moving on, we've got the very latest on Matteo Kovacic. Manchester City, they're still keen according to the mail. And Kovacic apparently is keen on a move to Manchester City as well. I've been hearing rumours that United and Spurs also potentially interested in Kovacic. And there may be a bit of uh, a bit of interest there. Chelsea are willing to sell to another Premier League club as as long as their value is met, which is between their 30 to 40 million pounds, which to me is a lot of money, but we'll see. Now, speaking of the mail, they've also been reported on another central midfielder, Declan Rice. And they say that Manchester City have discussed potentially making a move for Declan Rice this summer, but they feel like his playing style is too similar to that of Rodri. It could disrupt the momentum of Rodri and his playing style. So Manchester City, more than likely, the stance right now will not make a move for Declan Rice this summer. It's described as Manchester City having potential concerns over the transfer. Don't know whether that's in relation to the fee, the playing style, or maybe a mixture of both. Now, moving on to the final transfer, Josko Gavardio plays for RB Leipzig. We saw him play against City over the two legs in the last 16 of the Champions League back in February and March. Now, we've got a big update on him, and Jack Gorhan says that Pep Guardiola, Manchester City, they remain keen on signing Josko Gavardio this summer. His asking price has apparently been set at £85 million by RB Leipzig, which would be a very expensive transfer, in particular for a defender. But Pep Guardiola, if he wants to continue with this back free system that he's been playing with, he sees Josco Gavardio as being important for that because he can cover through centre-back, he can cover through the middle, can cover on the left-hand side, he can also play at left-back. It would be a massive advantage if he could also invert and come in as an inverted full-back as well. However, City do currently have... The position's already stacked out in their squad. We've got Nathan Ake. We've got Emeric Laporte as well. We don't necessarily need Josco Gavardio in particular for £85 million. However, Emeric Laporte could leave Manchester City this summer. That is very, very realistic, in my opinion. If he wants regular first-team football, he's been kept out of the team by the likes of Akanji and Nathan Ake. If that is the case then he may want to leave Manchester City. And if we get a suitable offer, I can see him Merrick Laporte leaving City. And if he does, City will need to replace him. And the only player that's getting lit, the only player Manchester City want to replace uh, a Merrick Laporte with is Josco Gavardiel. £85 million, pounds, we get a good sum for the likes of Cancelo leaving and we get a good sum for a Merrick Laporte leaving. All of a sudden, net spend, absolutely fine. City make a profit and we get to add Josco Gavardiel to our squad. It's expensive, but in my opinion, a very doable transfer if we get the players leaving that we need to leave to make this transfer happen. We'd love to know your thoughts on that. Cancelo, Laporte, if they leave and we bring Gavardiel in, are you happy with that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, don't forget as well to leave a thumbs up. 300 likes is the aim. Subscribe as well if you're new around here. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Remember, daily Manchester City transfer updates coming throughout all of the summer transfer window for you guys to, up, uh, to look forward to every single day from June. Subscribe. It's free. The go-to channel for transfer news for Manchester City this summer. Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries. TikTok link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on there. And finally, I want to say a big thank you 
to Kitbag for sponsoring today's video. Go and check them out. As I said, the new Manchester City shirt is available, the 2023-2024 shirt. You can go and check it out. £70. Link is in the description. Got lots of uh, custom prints that you can put on the back of your shirts as well, including that of the very popular number nine, Erling Haaland. Links, details, they are in the description. They've got stock, so while stock lasts, go and check it out because I don't think it's going to be there for very long. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you all again very soon for the next Manchester City video. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.